that virus is on every news channel, radio station, and technology magazine in the country. It's like the Gary Condon of viruses. But we still have questions. What does it do? Can I get it at home? How do I get rid of it? Here to answer these questions is senior programmer at Agilon and Code Red Vigilante, Crazy Bob Lee. Welcome to the screen, How you doing, Bob. So, uh, first of all, why do they they call you crazy? Uh, that's kind of a carryover from when I was uh, pledging Sigma Chi back at. You were Sigma Chi? Yes. Let's I do was. the secret handshake, all right? <laughs> Guess what? I wasn't in Sigma Chi, but someone taught me the Slacker. secret handshake. Right. Yeah, my brother was in Sigma Chi at Cornell. Awesome. Anyway, could you give us a brief explanation of? what the code red virus is uh, the code red virus is a uh, actually it's an internet worm that spreads around the internet it exploits a hole in microsoft's web server iis and basically it gets on your web server spawns 200 processes and tries to infect other servers randomly all right and you call yourself the code red vigilante why vigilante here why is that vigilante is actually the movement it's okay. uh, it's kind of a microsoft and the isps were all sitting on their hands microsoft didn't send out messages to the registered users as far as i know the isps told a lot of their uh their users that because they were home users they weren't vulnerable to the code red worm which wasn't the case so there's a lot of people sitting out there with uh, that are running windows 2000 and aren't aware of the fact that they're running IIS and their computers are completely exposed to any hacker that comes along in a web browser. So you're fighting the good fight here. Exactly. And you, you didn't start this movement, you joined this, this vigilante movement. And I what, started it. You did start <laughs> it. Started you're the founder. It. I started so it. Leo what, fired me up. <laughs> <laughs> it was all Leo? He got all, you inspired. Well, Leo and Bob Cringely. So. Okay. So what have you done about it? As the vigilante, have you written some software? You know, Microsoft's been sitting on their haunches. What have you done? I wrote a small server. It's called Code Red Vigilante. And it actually masquerades as an IIS server and waits for a Code Red worm to come along and try and infect it. Okay, and then what? when it tries to do that, it turns it around on the infected server and pops up a creepy message on their computer telling them that they're infected by the code red worm and sending them to my site, which has further instructions on going to Symantec's site or incidents.org or any other. Does it surprise so. you that so few people have updated their computer if they, they know they're running this thing? I mean, what, what happened here? Was it Microsoft's fault for not notifying these people? Uh, that was part of it. That was part of it. But I mean, there's so many users out there that just put Windows 2000 on their machine because, yeah. you know, because like they wanted more stability or they just wanted to do like a word pad or whatever. And they, they're not techno geeks like the one or two percent of us. Sure. They, they don't even, they hear code red and they're like, is that one of those email viruses? Yeah, but you know, it's, it's mostly, I would assume, the techno geeks that are really susceptible to this because the home user, you know, the guy who's just using the internet to surf around, they're not susceptible. Is that correct? That's not the case. Oh, no, really? Not the case at all. Uh, most of the emails I've gotten have been from people like uh, on cable modem connections and DSL connections where they have Windows 2000 on their machine and IIS was either installed by whoever came along and put 2000 on their machine or it became on their OEM computer or whatnot. Okay, so, uh, so a lot of these are just home users, and you know, people have complete access to their files. They had no idea. All right, so how how are you? What's the distribution model for this this vigilante software that you've written? It's word of mouth. It's yeah. as easy as coming to my site and downloading the program. It's actually. It's uh, right about where it needs to be. I mean, uh, if, if, uh, if your machine's infected by Code Red, you're probably getting about 10 to 20 messages a day. Is that right? So, yeah, it's, it's, but it was cross-platform software yeah. written in Java, which isn't vulnerable to these type of exploits. Any, any numbers of how many people have been infected? Uh, I don't have the slightest idea. Yeah. I don't have the slightest idea. Incidents.org said 10 to 20,000 a couple weeks ago. So okay. I've gotten a few hundred thank you emails. So how do people uh, get the software from your site? What's the URL? It's uh, www dynwebdev.com forward slash code red. There it is right up there. there you go. That's a long there you URL. It'd probably be a lot easier to go click on it on Tech TV site. Yeah, so. we go to, <laughs> if you go to the screen saves, there's definitely going to be a link to Crazy Bob's site. Okay, so. You're doing good work. The vigilante movement is going on. What's going to happen next, though? Now you're just sitting around waiting for another virus? Uh, pretty much. Actually, the big thing is we really have to get rid of NIP Code Red in the bud right now. Yeah. Because what people don't understand is it's not going to shut down the Internet via, like, the traffic generated by trying to infect other computers. Uh -huh. There's nothing to stop somebody else from releasing another Code Red-type worm right now or somebody from exploiting these machines that are just sitting there. I mean, could you imagine just, you know, somebody somebody did, like, a consist like, a... A denial of service attack on like eBay.com using Absolutely. all these machines, or and it's maybe not that difficult to do, is it? Exactly, exactly. It, the, you could just utilize the original worm. I mean, the the know-how's there. Have you ever written a virus? No, I have. Do you understand how they work? Do you have yes, the capability to write one? Yes, I but do. But you're fighting. You're on the good side. I'm, I'm not like that kid who called <laughs> Dark Avenger. I am now. Yeah, I'm not antisocial. I just try and fix them. All right. So. Well, Bob, thank Looking you very for much for guys. being on the screen savers. You're doing good work. Thank you very we much, appreciate Martin. it. All right. That's not the secret signal, <laughs> Kai. 
No, it's not. All right. Hey, scoot on over to ScreenSeries.com to find Crazy Bob Lee's tips to protect yourself against the code red worm.